Hey guys, what is up Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today I'm here to show you a very very early version of the V2 race bot for Rush Racing 2. Um, this is in regards of trying to make it more universal for everyone to use and so far it's been a big learning curve to try to even get it working but I did finally get it working after working on it for a few days but as you can see here I'm logged into my main account on my browser this browser is useless I don't need to be here so I'm actually gonna close this uh, we're gonna put it to here real quick I'm gonna close that because I don't need that um, so what I've basically been working on is making a more universal friendly bot and as you can see, it actually opens two windows. And I don't have this movable yet, which is kind of stupid. I need to make it movable, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna log in off recording screen. But basically what it is, is it's a two window program where this window talks to the actual game window that's open. So it is a custom web browser where you will be required to log into your Facebook, obviously. Um, to get the game working and do I have audio turned off on my computer I do cool so you're gonna see something right away my game already looks different and I have a theory on something as to why that is um, that I'll share later wow that was some bright lightning so as you can see here I have the game loaded up and there's this little red square up here what this little red square is is what's called an anchor point and what this anchor point does is the mouse will look for this before it does anything else. And it'll take a screenshot of this whole area of the screen. And it'll look for this anchor point. And if this an anchor point is not seen, let's say it's hidden behind something, which would be very difficult because I have the game running in what's called always on top mode. So this screen will never be behind, well, it shouldn't be behind anything else. Um, it's behind something else now because I haven't enabled always on top mode, but, um, what is this window here? Move. Anyway, so as you can see, I have the game loaded up and this is the little anchor point. And that's basically the sole point of this is now that it's a custom in browser experience and like a custom, um, thing in, overall where it has this, if the game doesn't work in this window on your computer, which by the way, the only downside of this is you're probably gonna need a screen resolution that is higher than, um, what did I make this screen here? God, the lightning's ridiculous right now. What did I make this? Unreachable code detected. That is okay. I need, I don't know I'll look in a minute here we'll start this back up well not a big deal um so you'll probably need a screen resolution that's like at least 720p or something like that I'm gonna try to make this as small as possible um so this whole giant space here this will probably be dragged way up here um and only made bigger when I make updates but I'm gonna take more of an advantage of tabs as well but if it can't see this then it basically won't continue doing what it needs to do. And that's the sole point. That's basically the way I'm trying to make this more universal because a lot of people have had issues with the set pixel where they'll set the pixel, it'll save. And I've even watched through like videos and stuff like that. Um, the moderator even on site, he has problems with it. Um, and a lot of the times your guys' games look different from mine and I'm not sure why that is. Um, like, I was sent a screenshot of somebody else's game, and your shift button, your on-screen shift plus sign is way bigger than the one on my screen. It's thicker. Even, like, right now, I noticed the text on this version of the game that I'm running right now, it's bold. On my regular Firefox version, it's not. And I'm wondering if there's a difference between Firefox and Chrome, because this is basically a Chrome window. I'm wondering if there's a difference between Firefox and Chrome that maybe people should worry about, but in the end, I'm actually also able to control the HTML that loads here. So I can actually load the um, CSS, which is basically what tells the 
web page oh like this text should be bold this text should be green um this should be a green background this should have this icon this icon it should be this as far as like the username and the uh, icon here the ios app thing should be here the camera thing should be here that's what css is and i can actually manipulate the css um, in this custom window which will be very nice and the other thing i can do is actually edit html on the fly as soon as the window loads so once it realizes that it's on the rush racing web page so the whatever the page may be um i can also remove all this facebook stuff and have it literally be just the game on screen and that'll also remove a lot of lag and it'll be like a true you know downloadable experience as far as um how you know people will perceive to play the game i guess is the best way to say it or it'll be like a downloadable client instead of having to use your web browser and log into your facebook on chrome or firefox or something like that so i'm attempting to make it universal i'm attempting to you know actually add some really cool features to this bot that i don't want to speak about publicly but this is basically where i'm at i will still update the you know bot as the one that's released now i will still be working on that if updates are needed to it or if somebody comes up with a feature idea i'll test it on that one before adding it to this one but as of right now i don't really know what else to add except you know what i'm going to be attempting to do with this bot so you know i just wanted to give you guys an update show you guys that i'm not entirely just sitting around but it is what it is you know i can only do so much especially when i'm trying to make for family time like i talked about in my last video so i think my son's awake so i better get off of here but i'll talk to you guys later hope you guys are excited for this version of the bot although i don't expect this to release until well after the android app version comes out which is supposed to be mid-april so it might come out around my birthday which means i get to release a modded apk for rush racing 2 on my birthday <laughs> so i'll talk to you guys later hope you guys enjoyed peace out